I've been in publishing for almost 30 years, but being a fiction author is still a brand new experience for me. What lessons have I learned on this short part of my journey? Last week when I did my video blog, I asked a tongue-in-cheek question. What am I going to do with all the time I have on my hands now that the book is at press? Well, I mentioned that I do have to keep the day job going. I also have to finish the second novel. And third, there's the hard work of marketing that has begun. That's where I'll start with my lessons. The three lessons I've learned begin with marketing. You have to be as passionate about marketing your book as you were about writing it. This is tough. As a publisher, I remember being surprised and wondering why authors would work so hard at the craft of writing, but then basically disappear when it came time to promote their own work. Well, I know a little bit more personally and better now why that is. It is hard work. And secondly, for many people, self-promotion does not come naturally. They just don't like it. I haven't been accused of that, but I can tell you from firsthand experience, it is a lot more fun and a lot more rewarding when someone else brags about your work and you don't have to do it. Your second thing I've learned is that Google calendars can save you a lot of work later on. When I wrote Cuts Like a Knife, I did it free flowing. I had the plot in my head. I knew where it was going, but I didn't take time to map out and plot out all the days, weeks, and months. So you can imagine, we had a lot of conflicts and inconsistencies to fix when it came to the timetable. It suddenly hit me. Google has this calendar program where you can set up as many calendars as you want. So I went ahead and set one up for every breath you take. Every time I write a scene, or every time I know there's a scene that I want to write later on, I put it on the calendar, and I think it's going to be a lot easier to do the final edit on this one. The third lesson I've learned is that patience is a virtue, and it's a virtue that I hope I have someday. It's great to feel a sense of urgency, but things need to happen in time, in sequence, in the right place. Every time I call Jeannie Wynn, my publicist, because I have a crazy idea or a crazy question, she has to patiently explain to me, Mark, we are on schedule, and in many ways we're ahead of time with our marketing and publicity efforts. That makes me feel better for a while, but then I start feeling impatient again and call her back. She did let me know that USA Today is going to run a review on Cuts Like a Knife, my first response was, of course, when can I see it? When will it appear? And she had to again, slowly, quietly, patiently, kindly tell me, Mark, wouldn't it be better if the review hit when the book is going into the market rather than seven weeks in? I'm going to continue to repeat the prayer that is so famous. God, give me patience and give it to me right now. I want to thank you for stopping by and visiting my blog again. I hope you got something out of these three lessons, and I look forward to seeing you next week.